Benak, that big beast looks cow familiar. Oh no! The cow leafer too? Apus, at least I have you to talk to. What the Council are doing... Can it be right? Earlier on, I overheard the Captain of the Guards. He said the Kingdom was in a parlous state. He spoke of people too poor to buy bread and of the starving dying in the streets. Yet... The Council assure me all is well. Just who is telling the truth? Tell me, Apis. This is most troubling. The Queen persists in her wish to involve herself in the affairs of state. Should this continue, she may realize that it is we who now rule the kingdom and alert the populace. <laughs> Surely it would do little harm to allow her to sit on the council. Provided that we keep the more sensitive matters from Her Majesty's hearing. Yes, and ensure that she is made publicly responsible for all of the Council's decisions. Ha! A most splendid idea. We shall keep our kingdom while she takes all the blame. <laughs> <laughs> Father, I know you will be proud of me. Today, the Council gave me their approval. I am to be involved in the affairs of state. Now I can work for the best interests of my subjects. I have taken a long, hard look at myself, and I have decided to put my subjects first and do all I can to rid the world of war and famine. Father, I have learned of the existence of an ancient spell with the power to end all suffering. I shall do you proud. I vow that I will master that spell 
and save my subjects and kingdom from despair. Soon, father. Soon I shall bring the light of hope into the lives of my people. So we're back here again. Stop your whinging, man. I mean, it could be worse. Huh? Oh! <gasps> Nickers! That tank. That's the very latest weapon in Hamlin's arsenal. You're telling me machines are turning into monsters now? I cannot say. Whoa! Uh -huh. Just a machine. Let's show it what for. Time for your magic. Right. Sanctify. How could this happen? Every man, woman, and child in my kingdom. How? Why did this happen? Mana was meant to help them. Not... not... this. Tell me why. My name is Cassiopeia. I am Queen of Nazcar. When I was a child, I was known as P. I lived together with my father, and did not want for anything. Then, when my beloved father passed away, I ascended the throne, little knowing what horrors awaited me. 
Ignorant of the affairs of state, I allowed the Council of Twelve to control everything. But the Council paid not the slightest heed to the well-being of my subjects. I had always thought of Nazcar as a peaceful realm, but now I saw that it was blighted by greed and torn apart by conflict. The scales had fallen from my eyes. I felt the desperation of those ground down by poverty. I felt the pain of those fighting for survival. And I saw how I had lived a gilded life of luxury. A life they could never hope to enjoy. I decided that I must change. I would work for the good of others and do all I could to eliminate conflict. That is how I arrived at my decision. That is what drew me to the spell that would save the world. Manor. When I came to use that spell, not a doubt clouded my mind. I was certain that the manor would purify the hearts of my people. But then... My dream of peace turned into a nightmare. All those whom the manor touched became beasts and turned upon each other. For years, the nightmare went on. The years stretched to decades. And still it continued. Then one day, I realized there was no one left. The council was gone. The guards were gone. My ladies in waiting, too. They were all gone. The manor I had unleashed had claimed the lives of every one of them. I am completely and utterly alone. But death is a privilege I shall never know. And who can say what this endless solitude may make of me? That is why I have decided to fill these flowers with my memories. If you have found this flower, I pray that you will find your way to me. That is my only wish. Until then, I shall be waiting, always waiting, alone in Nazcar.
My solitude stretched before me, with no end in sight. All I had for company were my memories, the pieces of an ever more distant past. I tried to hold on to the happy times, hoping to keep my loneliness at bay. For how many years this continued, I cannot say. And then, one day, can it be true? Are you me? But why? Just who do you think you are? What? What do you want with me? I see. You came to accuse me. To blame me for the loss of all those lives. Well then, I shall banish you from my sight! <laughs> That's right! Banish her! Pour forth your mana and be done with them all! Yes, that shall be my gift. The gift of the White Witch! We have awaited you, your radiance. Counselors! My beautiful manner can end the world in an instant. <laughs> we need only choose when that instant shall be. We may shape the fate of the world as we will and start afresh whenever we please. That is the power of manner. I hereby call the Council to order. What was that? The White Witch. Cassiopeia. Who'd have thought she'd turn out like that? So much for all those good intentions. But how could... She was there, with Cassiopeia. P was there. Cassiopeia is on her own. And she's very, very sad. Please help her. Help Cassiopeia. Silence! <gasps> Look! Up there! It's a castle. A castle in the sky. So, little girl, you are stirring up trouble once again. Cassiopeia! Why do you strive to save this fallen world when my radiant manor would start it anew? Manor? You mean... Yes, it is I, the White Witch, arbiter of the fate of the world. It is my decision and my right to bring this world to an end. The judgment has been passed. It shall not be overturned. The 